Hey folks, this is how to get your Notion share URL or link. Um, let me show you real quick the two ways. I'll show you the short versions, then I'll explain each and every one individually. So option number one is you go to your page, you go up here to the share button. Let's see, click share. And by default, share to web will be off. You click that and this is the link you need. So that's option one. This is what you will need to paste on your Simple Ink page anywhere. Now, be careful, I have to mention, it's not this, it's this right here. So it has to start with something, that notion, that site, for the time being, at the time of recording this. Option two, if you wanna skip through all that, is you can download our Chrome extension. So just go, just Google Chrome extension, symbol that ink, notion, website, builder, whatever. Um, you will have it in the bio of this link. All you need to do is, if you get that, is click here in the upper right. Uh, you have to be on a notion page. So my bad here, click this, turn this into a notion page and we do everything in the background for you. Uh, this is the quick version of option two. And I've already explained option one. Let's see, uh, with option one. So we have this link here, not link guide. I meant we have this guide right here where we explain it step by step. Um, with option one, what we're doing is, as I said, we're going for the share button and, um, over here, I have to mention nothing over here matters. So you can have these ticked on off as you wish. Um, I have to mention that uh, this won't do anything to your Notion page. So if it's shared with somebody, if it's part of a workspace, if you do whatever, we don't have any kind of effect to that. So if you're taking your public URL to build a uh, Notion website with it, that is, this is completely separate. So no effect on that. We won't delete your page. We won't alter it in any way. We don't really have access to it. Uh, so even if you turn this off, that's completely fine with us. Um, you don't need a, I also have to, yeah, make this clarification. You don't need a personal pro plan. So it works perfectly on a free Notion plan. Again, you don't have to pay Notion anything and not even us, we have a generous free plan. So you can stick to that. Um, again, it's this button right here, or let's see if this does the trick. No, that doesn't do the trick. So it has to be just this button. Now to make a clarification, this is a public link to your Notion page. This in the bar or this is an internal one. So this is what the internal link is something you use for your own purposes. So for you to get to that page in your Notion. But once you click share and you share it to the web, so whatever is inside this area, this is what interests us. Um, obviously Notion explains it here, but it gets kind of complicated. It is a bit complicated, um, which gets me to option number two. As I said, we have a Chrome extension. Um, make sure you look at the bio of this video so you can get a download link. You don't have to do all that search I mentioned. And all it does is, first of all, it checks whether you're on a Notion website because you can obviously only do this with a Notion page. Um, looks like I just click simple at ink. So it looks to see if you're on a notion page and if you are, all it does is it does these clicks for you. Again, we don't get access to any personal data, your email. We don't do any alteration in any way. Uh, the control is completely yours. And of course, uh, the, the con access to this page is given to anyone else who you've given access to through these settings right here. So that's great if you wanna have collaboration, especially when pricing for Simple Ink doesn't scale with uh, users as it would be the case with some other website editors or builders. Um, it does with Notion, but it doesn't have to. You can just share an edit link and that works perfectly fine. And um, let's see, um, where was I? Yeah, you click this, turn this in pay Notion page into a website and you're already halfway into building your website. So you're skipping through uh, doing anything either here or on the homepage. Let me open that up or here. You don't need to worry about any of that. Sure, it will take you a click or two to install the Chrome extension, but what we've seen is that people, especially with our generous freemium plan, what we have seen is that people get slightly addicted to um, um, building websites with Notion because you make your personal website, then a 
website for your podcast or for your friend or for your side business. It's just easy. So uh, think of those two clicks as an investment every time you're on a, whoops, see, not an ocean page. Every time you want to make use of our generous freemium plan and add yet another website, just click the button and then the blue button and you're halfway into it. Obviously, selecting your subdomain is uh, something we cannot predict for you but maybe we'll get there at one point. Anyway, regardless, that's besides the point. This is how to get your Notion share URL. This is how you can make your page public. One last thing to mention is that you would have to keep the page public. The second you turn that off, we won't be able to sync the changes anymore. So what I mean by sync is if your website is built and you want to say, not Mike, you want to say Michael's, we automatically copy that over to your website. That isn't the case, sadly, if you don't keep the page public. But this is it. Uh, let me know in the comments what questions you have and I'll be happy to answer them.